Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today the focus of this video is about how the new DJI for a Unit Pro works together with the Goggles 2. Since the O4 has been released, the O3 unit has gone out of market. Therefore, if you still want to use your Goggles 2 or Goggles Integra, but you need a new a unit like myself, the O4 is now the way to go. So in this video, we'll be doing a practical test to see how the Goggles 2 and the O4 unit perform together compared to the DJI O3 unit. We start by checking the pin out of the O4 to see if it's the same or different as the O3. We'll be doing a firmware update on both O4 a unit and Gagos 2 to be able to bind them. Then I'll be setting up the same camera configuration on both O3 and O4 a unit. And at the end, we'll be doing a flight test to see if the O4 performs better than the O3 or it's, if it's the same, we will see. Anyway, let's get started now. Here we got the manual of both DJI O4 a unit and DJI O3 a unit, so we can check the pin out. Okay, this is coming from the A unit. Here we got the S bus, the yellow one, the ground, for the S bus, the TX, RX ground, the, the power, and same here. That's the red, red, power, the black one, the ground, black one, the ground, then white one, RX, white one, RX, the gray one, TX, and gray one, you are TX. And then the brown one is ground, brown one is signal ground, and the yellow one is S bus, and the yellow one is the S bus here as well. So on the paper, both connections are the same. <coughs> now let's have a visual check on the actual cable. Okay. The drone here has the DJI O3 unit installed, and that's the cable. So, compared to the O4, both connectors are the same. The pin out is the same. The first one is the power, then the black one, the ground, the white one, and the gray one, both RX and TX. So the pin out is actually on the O4 is actually the same as the O3. So I'm gonna swap over. I'm gonna install the O4 on this drone, remove the O3. I'm gonna use this drone to test the O4. Okay. Okay, just installed the O4 on my drone. I managed to set the screw for the camera. It's not the best, but good enough for doing this test. The O3 unit is here, being removed. Now I'm gonna mount the top plate on and we jump on the software to update the O4A unit firmware. In order to upgrade the firmware of the Goggles 2, first off we need to power it up, make sure the battery of the Goggles is fully charged, and then open up the DJI Fly app. Connect the USB from the goggles. And then here at the top right hand side corner will pop up a window asking to upgrade the firmware. It's not my case since uh, I've already upgraded the firmware but then you just need to click on the on the window there and follow off the prompts to upgrade the firmware. And once it's done, it's gonna take probably around 10, 15 minutes, more or less. But once it's done, then the goggles will have been in the list of the devices to connect the O4, the DJI O4 a unit and the DJI O4 a unit pro. Now, let's jump to upgrade the 
DJI O4 A Unit Pro firmware. Okay, here we are to update the firmware on the DJI O4 A Unit Pro. First thing, we need to download the new DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series, which is the one uh, able to update the firmware of the O4 A Unit. I'll leave the link down in the description. So, first off, we connect the USB into the laptop and plug the battery in. The unit needs to be powered up in order to be recognized by the software. Here we are. And then we need to activate the product first. Okay, it's activating. Activation successful. And now we're gonna upgrade the firmware. Okay, the update has been completed. And here we are. That's the current version. 01000100. Okay. You can close this one. And jump to the next step. Take off and let's test both O3 and O4 a unit using the DJI Goggles 2. Just as a reference, I've used a 6S Li-Ion battery, 4000 mAh, and I say it because later you will see that the level of the battery goes down to 21 volt, and I want to assure that it does not affect the test since this type of battery can be used down until 18 volts. Soon there will be an opening on the left. Great place to test these units since there will be enough trees between the drones and the goggles. And one more thing, using the O4A unit with the goggles too, you will get 50 megabytes per second rather than 60 as it is for the goggles 3. Okay, here we are. With the O3 a unit, I go between those first trees here as low as I could and the video feed, the lowest, went down to 10 megabytes per second, as you can see. Whereas with the O4 a unit, I flew a little bit too high. So obviously I went back and flew low proximity. Same thing. 
same spot with the O3A unit. And here, the, with the O3A unit, as you can see, the video feed froze and the lowest megabyte I got was eight megabytes per second. Whereas with the O4A unit, same spot, I got 10 megabytes per second. And I just wanted to flew the drone with the O3A unit on the same spot again and I got the same result. Video feed froze and the lowest megabyte was around 67 megabytes per second. Now on the on the way back we're gonna try to stop or to slow down the drones between this large G line and as you can see over here, the O3A unit, the lowest, went to 2 megabytes per second, with the O4A unit at 6 megabytes per second. And I just flew the drone with the O3A unit back to the same spot, just to check again. And I got more or less pretty much the same result. 6 megabytes per second, 4, 2, again, 1, 2. Yep, and now just flying back home. Uh, that's the the result I personally got testing the those two units as fairly as possible. Uh, after this test, I feel like the O for a unit performs slightly better than the O three with the goggles too. But let me know in the comment what your thoughts are and what you think and thanks so much for watching and we will see you at the next video thank you so much see ya